the Islam act is like you know in the apartheid era they were separating black people from the white people you know not because white people didn't want the blacks but it was the government who was separating the people even now the slums act is similar to what happened in the apartheid era it's separating the poor people from the, the rich people when we say this thing uh, of the slums act contradicts with the constitution you can see on section 26 of the housing rights in the constitution it says it very clearly that everyone has a right to have access to adequate housing the state must and under, underline the word must it's not a request it's a command or it's a mandate okay let me say mandate for politicians because the politicians business but in english it's a command it, it must take reasonable legislative and other measures with its available with its available resources to achieve the progressive realization of these rights so we've got enough resources in the in the country so we are not worried south africa is one of the richest countries in africa as well as in the world and it say no oh this is the nice one no one may be evicted from her home or have her home demolished without the order of court made after considering all the relevant circumstances no legislation may permit arbitrary evictions this legislation stands act permits because it gives more power to the municipality as well as the landowners to evict people in the land and it doesn't talk about going to court before that so the, the this if you read this one carefully it contradicts i think you've heard that <laughs> Comrades, it's been a long day, it's been a long journey, it's been a long road, it's been a hard one. A road from Sheikh to the Constitutional Court. We know that the future of our country and the direction of our country lies with you. It lies with ordinary people. Abashali all over the country and Africa are expecting your efforts to change the world, to put people's dignity at the central point of our struggle.